So again, this wasn't your first match, but the first match I saw for yours, and it might have been the first match after training with Sean, was with American Dragon. Before we even get into yes. that, can you talk about just training with him and Lance Cade? And I'm sure there were others who stood out to you too that you could discuss because obviously they're most notable perhaps because they went on to such success just like yourself. Did you did they immediately stand out amongst the class? Were there multiple standouts? Maybe they weren't standing out at all and they just worked and grinded. Could you talk about their progress, your own progress? Maybe there was competition between you guys, any of that. Yeah, so uh, Lance right away, he was 18, blonde, six foot five, 200, and I don't know, 40 pounds or Beast. something. Yeah, he was in great shape. And then right away, when we did leapfrogs, and he was just jumping better than anybody. Oh, Sean, Sean started making cash register noises cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> And I oh, oh. but uh, but Lance, Lance worked hard. Okay, so back to Lance Cade though. You were saying that uh, cha ching, cha ching, and he worked hard though. Yeah, yeah, no, Lance, Lance, uh, Lance wanted to be a professional wrestler. Uh, you know, he he loved it and worked really hard at it. Um, there was uh, Danielson as well. He's also from Washington State, and. That would be my training buddy. Uh, needed somebody to practice with afterwards. He needed somebody to practice with after uh, practice with after practice. That was me. Uh, we 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 trained together uh, before practice, after practice, off days. Um, and he's the one that exposed me to uh, all Japan. All right. Uh, yeah, really grateful for that. It's. Perhaps my favorite wrestling is the all Japan, you know, 90s stuff. Uh, although I also love the French stuff from the 50s and 60s. Um, yeah, he was a uh, dragon was super driven and it made me super driven. I was competitive only in that I didn't want anybody to put in any more effort than I did. Mm -hmm. um, I can't I can't help them being better at these other natural things but I can't let anybody put in more time than I did. So it and wasn't like a toxic kind of competitiveness. It was just, you had the drive and you wanted to work as hard as anybody else. Yeah. I wanted to work harder, harder. Okay. 